You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories tonight. We have an update for you from that double homicide that happened on Sunday. We now know the two women who were killed. They've been identified as 75 year old Ayanna Sellers and her 29 year old granddaughter Autumn Harvey. They were again grandmother and granddaughter. Police found the two women dead in a home in the unit block of Tayo Circle in Middle River just before 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. Both had trauma to their upper bodies. So far, there are no suspects. Anyone with information is asked to call Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Well, most students going to Hopkins Medical School will now be going for free. Businessman Michael Bloomberg donated $1 billion to the school. The money means the med school is free for students whose families make less than $300,000. That is about three quarters of current students. Students whose families make less than $175,000 can also get free room and board. Tuition was $64,000 there this year. With room and board, it jumped to $102,000. Whether it's Friday night lights or a pickup summer soccer match, this field will be put to good use. Essex cut the ribbon on the new state-of-the-art Essex Field at Renaissance Park. The over $2 million project was largely funded through ARPA and the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation. It upgrades the site with synthetic turf grass, lights, a scoreboard, and so much more. Community leaders say it's all about investing in the next generation. We want you to play baseball. We want you to play football. We want you to play soccer. We want you to be a part of activity so maybe it benefits you and your future. And when your family sees you out there, they see a great thing. They see an investment that we know that is from the heart. Fields also gives nearby school Our Lady of Mount Carmel a place for its sports teams to play with a new path connecting the two. And we continue to feel the heat and humidity across the state of Maryland. Heat advisory still in effect for this evening and into tomorrow. We'll see temperatures again into the mid to upper 90s, feeling like the triple digits. That'll continue into Wednesday as well, where we have the next best chance of seeing some showers, maybe even some rumbles of thunder. It'll continue into the end of the week as we see a much more unsettled weather pattern. Temperatures will eventually go to the upper 80s for Friday. It does look like rain showers do wrap up into the weekend, but the heat comes back with a vengeance. All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.